This is Governor Rick Perry. He's Thank just you. one governor. Hey, Dennis. Reaching Dennis Bye. and Bob. Hey, Bob. Governor Rick Perry. And Brian. Hey, Brian. This is Governor Rick Perry. And more than 100,000 supporters, each with a personalized greeting. If you say somebody's name, you can stop their brain. And it really is true. Thanks for taking a look at this personal video. These video messages landed in Perry supporter inboxes in September, asking them to take part in an online chat with the governor. To um, allow the governor to connect pe to people in a personal way um, and to get his message out there. Isn't that cool? All made possible by the marketing right. company BizGreen, like led by Matt Harris. We actually record uh, our clients saying the first name of, of all the people they'd like to greet. Hi, Adam. Hi, Jane. Hey, Anthony. If you record 100 to 150 to 200 to 250 names, you're going to get 70 to 80 percent of a, of, a, of a given population. Perry recorded some 200 individual greetings and used a database to match personal videos to names of supporters. The campaign says going personal has proven powerful. We do believe that we are able to connect with voters um, in a stronger way. The technology does push privacy into the past. Campaigns can count and track every click once a user presses play. At this level, what personalization means is that we know who you are as a customer. We know what you've bought in the past. We think we can project what you'll care about in the future. Making the voter the customer in electoral politics. It's a marriage of marketing and political messaging, allowing politicians to pitch themselves with personalized precision. John Anderson, you can use a Guinness right A sort of future already foretold by a movie made many years ago. Welcome back to The Gap. How those assorted tank tops work out for you? When we talk about BizGreet with people, they often bring up Minority Report. Uh, because they, 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 said they tend to remember that, that image of Tom Cruise walking down the street and the Gap saying, hello. It all gets sort of reduced to, to, to the same kind of pop culture uh, sort of, you know, formulas. UT Austin professor Craig Watkins studies the intersection of digital media and pop culture. You know, I, and I'm not sure when this happened, but, but at some point this, this idea of being likable has, has emerged as just as important as, as being credible, uh, as being knowledgeable. He worries right, these messages right now, are meaningless and, uh, to the state's political discourse. To... It's kind of a cheapening, right, of, of, of politics, a sort of cheapening of the way in which our elected leaders are asked to govern. And in some ways, uh, I think, ask them to, to sort of cater to uh, certain kinds of, um, you know, aesthetics, and presentations of stuff that we associate with celebrities or with pop culture figures. For the makers of these personalized videos, the message and no. the medium melt to mean smart marketing. You know, we, we do believe it is keeping our momentum going in the campaign and uh, you know, we're excited about where it's taking us. What we really think is that personalized marketing in this way is going to be something that people will, will, will want, they will like to be catered to. Fitting then that in advertising Texas. and in politics, hey, Steve. It's all about a winning campaign. Thanks for taking a look at this personal video.